This is my evaluation for the final project of Find Me. As you can see, my question is, what have you learned about technologies from the process of construction in this product? In the process of creating this movie, we use a variety of technology. For example, we use the Canon EOS 700D. We use the program Final Cut Pro, along with MPK Mini, with the program MPC Essentials. We use the program GarageBand, also another program called Studio One Two. Also, we use special quality studio mics, and we used an iMac and MacBook Pro for the editing. Firstly, I will be talking about the MPK Mini. The MPK Mini is a portable instrument which we use to compose certain music for our movie Find Me. Before I talk further about this product, an MPK Mini is an ultra compact keyboard with an impressive array of buttons, knobs, and pads that provide hands-on performance and production control over my music software. It consists of 25 keys for the keyboard and eight drum pads. I wasn't very familiar with this product because I brought it recently, so I thought I would put it to the test by seeing what it can produce. Uh, from the results, it was very useful. We didn't use the drum pads that much, but we did in some cases. For example, when we wanted to create the effect of a loud bang or noise. Um, also, we used the 25 keys to create a piano synth effect, which created a spooky vibe for our movie. The music I created was very subtle to begin with, and it slowly built up at the beginning of the film. However, towards the middle part of the film, it slowly faded away, which was the effect that I wanted to create. As you may not know, the product MPK Mini is produced by a company called Akai Professional. Now this product wouldn't be very useful if you didn't have the correct programs. So the program I used to actually put all the music together is called MPC Essentials. I will now show you what MPC Essentials is like. Okay, so this is the software that I use to create our music. Let's make it smaller. There we go. So this is the program, MPC Essentials, which I use to create our music. So these are the drum pads allocated to the MPK Mini. Now if you come over here, we have different elements which hold different sounds. So if I come over here, um, we have a variety of sounds which go on endless. The one in which we used was a a bro kick. Now we use a bro kick to create loud noises and loud bangs. So as you can see we just drag it over an allocated drum pad and then we can play sounds. To finalize the music we use two other programs such as Studio 1-2 and GarageBand. We converted the file from MPK Mini to a MP3 format. Once done, we split the audio track into two parts and inserted it into two different programs. We done this to add different types of effects. For example, we use reverb. However, the reverb on both of the systems were a bit different. Some had a more complex setting such as Studio One Two, whereas GarageBand was a bit more basic. So we decided to use both of them. The construction of this product was made a lot faster due to the fact that it's lightweight and it's portable. So we didn't have to carry around a lot of heavy equipment. Also, as it was a group effort, I could bring it to each other's houses. And also, I brought it to school to finish off some touches. Our next piece of equipment was the Canon EOS 700D. This was a really good camera because it held certain features such as the crop sensor. The crop sensor allowed every shot we took to be cropped and processed at a moment's notice, so when it came to editing, it was made a whole lot easier. Also, the camera has a 3x optical zoom feature. 
This variation allowed us to get a clear, cut professional, extreme close-up, which helped us to set the scene from time to time. For example, we used this feature upon the main character's face at the beginning to show how he was feeling very apprehensive to begin with. Another feature was the inbuilt stabilization feature. This was helpful because it helped us to reduce shaky scenes where no use of a tripod stand was used. This feature was used out throughout the whole film, but in particular it was used at the beginning to get an overview of the graveyard. The main feature the camera hold was the CMOS sensor, which allowed us to shoot in 1080p. This was useful because it complemented the use of complex imaging effects to give it that sense of reality. This feature was helpful because it reduced editing time as we didn't have to add many effects because our shots were very clear and crisp to begin with. Our next piece of equipment was rarely used but it was our Audio Technia mic. This microphone was used for the main character to speak over our filming and also where we felt that the film lacked certain parts so we used it to fill in short gaps. Our next use of technology was our program Final Cut Pro. Final Cut Pro was the software we used to finalize our project. It allowed us to put all our clips together to actually make the film possible. We used many effects from Final Cut Pro. For example, we used the still tinted blue effect over our movie to give it that scary vibe which we intended to provide the audience with. Also, we use certain audio effects put over pre-recordings to give a certain effect. For example, when the main character was sleeping and he was hearing noises, we used a loud bang to give it that jump effect. At the beginning, as a group, we didn't understand how to use Final Cut Pro. But as the weeks went on, we learnt more and more, and it became easier to use. Eventually, as a group, we all inputted our edits, and our final project was created. The last piece of technology we used was the MacBook Pro and the iMac. The iMacs were used at school, and the MacBook Pro was used at home. Construction of our project was very easy, as we could use the iMacs as a group at school, and in our own time at home, we could use the MacBook Pro, which was mine, and we used it as a group to edit in our own time at the weekends, which allowed us to have more time to be more productive in class. Also, they are very easy to use, so there was no complication. There was no complication when it came to using the Macs because they already had programs on there such as QuickTime Player which we use to get the beginning of the Bloomhouse ident. Mm. To sum up the construction process of this project, I wouldn't say that there was a piece of equipment more important than another one as they all had a part to play and they were all useful to use. This was my AS evaluation of my project Find Me and thank you for listening.